Hello all, welcome back to our channel Lingua and Literature. Today's topic is Gorbedak or Ferex and Porex by Thomas Norton and Thomas Sackville. Gorbedak has been considered as one of the earliest of English tragedies. It was jointly written by Thomas Norton and Thomas Sackville. They were two lawyers and members of parliament. The play was divided into five acts. The first three acts were composed by Thomas Norton and the last two acts by Thomas Sackville. It has just been called the first regular English tragedy. Gorbedek was first staged in the Inner Temple Hall in 1562 before Queen Elizabeth I. The plot of the play is based on the mythical history of England. The story of Gorbedek is after the convention of the Senecan tragedy which abounds in murders, violence and crime. Gorbedek is the king of England who in his lifetime divides his kingdom between his two sons Ferex and Porex. A quarrel arises between the two brothers and Porex the younger kills Ferex. The queen Vidina who loved Ferex more than Porex murders Porex in revenge. The story of the play makes us recall Shakespeare's King Lear. There is a widespread agitation among the people of the country. The people rise against the king and the queen and put them to death. But they cannot solve the question of succession. There are dissension among them which culminates into a bloody civil war, anarchy and dissolution. The events of the play are being narrated by a messenger and confident. The chorus sums up the situation with a few moral observations at the end of each of the first four acts. The Dukes of Cornwall, Albany, Logres and Cumberland are the other major characters in the play. The plot of Gorbedek is based on a chapter of English history, but the treatment of the material is altogether Sanitan. The play clearly displays the influence of the Renaissance. It also clearly indicates the playwright's aim to persuade Queen Elizabeth to marry. Gorbedek imitates Seneca slavishly with all crudeness and dullness. It was the first English drama to be so patterned. This pattern was afterwards followed by the succeeding dramatist. Gorbedek is tragedy of revenge giving rise to all kinds of crime including murder. But as in Seneca, violence and murder are not shown on the stage. It should be noted that the Elizabethan dramatists were fond of showing bloodshed and violence on the stage. The play Gorbedek is a masterpiece in dullness with no comic relief. For the first time in the history of English drama, blank verse was employed, which was afterwards employed as the medium of all tragedies. Gorbedek lacks in movement and dramatic feeling. Though the play has many defects, it maintains a high artistic level. Sir Philip Sidney eulogized Gorbedek in his defense of poetry as being full of stately speeches and bell-sounding phrases. It's interesting to note that the legend of Gorbedek figures in Edmund Spencer's The Fairy Queen, in which Gorbedek is addressed as Gorbert. Thomas Kitt's The Spanish Tragedy established this Senecan form of tragedy. Christopher Marlowe's Jew of Malta, William Shakespeare's Titus Centronicus, and John Webster's The Duchess of Malfi and The White Devil are written in Senecan mode. The significance of Gorbedek is that it is the first regular tragedy in English literature. That's all about today's topic. To get updates, please subscribe to our channel Lingo and Literature. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned.